Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So it's the 1st of December today. Uh, I've already uploaded a very short first video in a series for Advent for the whole of December up to and including Christmas Day, hopefully, uh, in which I reveal a um, beauty product from my Space NK Advent calendar. So that's already gone up, but as I say, those are going to be little shorties, just revealing a product. I won't generally be able to say much about them because I won't have tried them already, unless they're something I've had before, obviously. Um, so I'm still continuing trying to do my um, two to three videos a week, depending on my schedule, the usual sorts of things. And so today I wanted to talk about my favourite items from last month, November. Um, more the items that I've been using a lot um, from the things that I already own or have bought. Um, not necessarily all-time favourites, but just things that have come in for a lot of use. Now I have to say, um, unusually this year, I haven't been overwhelmed by any of the holiday Christmas collections, as you'll have detected from my lack of um, Christmas reveals. I have actually bought some items from the Chanel holiday collection. I wasn't going to initially, uh, but I caved, and I haven't put that video up yet. So I'm only just going to briefly mention uh, one of the products that I got, which was this, um, well, basically it's a gel eyeliner. It's called the Calligraphy de Chanel Eyeliner Cream Intense Long Tenue Long Wear in Hyper Black, um, which I wasn't going to buy, and then I saw one of their super clever um, videos in which they have models showing the collection, and I was suckered in not only to this, but some of the other products. Um, but I do actually like this. You can see I haven't used it a whole lot. I've um, probably used it four or five times since I got it. Uh, it's probably the first time, certainly in a long time, I used a gel eyeliner. I did have a Bobbi Brown one, possibly a Smashbox one years ago. Uh, but generally I use my um, Chanel pencils, as you know. This comes with the um, little brush, which is actually what I've been using because it's got a nice kind of angled edge. You know, it's one of these ones that um, you put together. And um, can I show you this really? Uh, I should really show it in the all over. It is, it's not looking very black there because I've just put on a tiny bit. It's surprisingly easy to apply, much easier than I expected. I have very shaky hands, which is partly why I like the um, very creamy Stilo Year by Chanel, which I find um, very forgiving if you're not, you know, 100% precise and accurate. But I am finding I can use this. I really do like the black in the evening with some black mascara. Um, is it long wearing? I'm not so sure about that. I definitely find it smudges out on me uh, after a few hours. So it's okay for an evening, but it certainly isn't going to last all day if I try that. But I really, really do like the effect. I haven't experimented in kind of powdering it with a black eyeshadow, which might make it last a bit longer, although I guess it would take away the shininess. So, um, yeah, uh, it's a recent favourite from that collection. Uh, I also like from the MAC Nutcracker collection, you know I only just bought, um, I bought two of these in fact and I've sold one that didn't work for me and I've got a lipstick. But this is the one I really like and have been using quite a lot, this is Nutcracker Suite in the Copper uh, face compact which isn't what I expected, I expected to like the lighter peachier one um, but this is the one I like. Um, I suppose it's quite a good winter colour. Um, it's looking, you know, really coppery there with a little bit of a gold shimmer in it. It's quite pigmented, so I need a soft brush. But with a soft brush, uh, it doesn't come over terribly glittery. I mean, you can see there's a kind of gold sheen, but it's not like glitter particles. The actual powder feels almost matte. Um, and yeah, I think it's a pretty colour for this time of year. And of course, it comes helpfully with uh, highlighter, very, very bright gold, um, 
I like my highlighters to be quite highlightery. And uh, this one certainly does the trick. It's perhaps a bit warm for me, but I have been enjoying it. Just a convenient little blush and highlighter shimmer powder all in one for travel. So I've been liking that. Uh, really loving, actually, my Galan Meteorites. I think the Galan Shalimar holiday collection is, in fact, my favourite of the holiday collections. Um... I bought a couple of items. This is kind of my favourite. Um, do I love these as much as the Snow Globe last year? Possibly not. I think the Snow Globe um, meteorites are a bit lighter and so they are more um, versatile. But honestly, these have such a subtle effect, you know, I'm not sure there's a huge difference between the different ones. Obviously, this is a bit warmer with all the gold. What I do find is, this is unusual, it's got very small spheres as well as big spheres. And the small spheres um, kind of pick up and get stuck in the bigger fluffy brushes I usually use for applying my meteorites. And then, because I do my makeup over the sink in my bathroom normally, I end up with them falling down the, the plug, which is bit wasteful given it's such an expensive product so I have been using this much smaller brush which actually um, came as part of the Galan um, deal that I had uh, you see that one's got stuck in even there but a small brush is slightly better at not picking them up I found so that's the only thing I don't like about it they I don't know that you can actually see the difference I definitely feel that there's a nice kind of blurring softening glistening effect from the meteorites and I just really enjoy using them um, I've been using them more or less every day last month um, face products I have been trying out last month a lot the Tom Ford waterproof foundation which is fine um, I like it I don't love it if I'm honest, my kind of favourite foundation last month when I wasn't trying out the Tom Ford was the Charlotte Tilbury Magic, which just felt, you know, totally non-irritating, um, non-there almost, but giving me the coverage I wanted. Um, and I'm really getting through this bottle now. So um, I have liked that one a lot. I've definitely been needing to zap up my complexion a bit. I'm very pale and um, almost a bit sallow at the moment. So I've been using um, my Chanel, what's it called? Le Beige, of course. Poudre Belmine Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. I use number 30, not as a powder, but as effectively a contouring just giving a bit of colour um, around the face and uh, just the right colour for me at this time of year. Uh, really enjoying still my Sonia Reichel um, Cushion Blush in Sorbet Rose from Lancome. It's starting to dry out after probably only a couple of months, to be honest, but it's just so easy to use. Um, you know, no blending, just kind of pat on. Not the most long-lasting, but very natural looking. Just great for a kind of workday makeup. So I have been using that a lot. You'll be surprised to see this one, which is why I kind of gave the disclaimer about what favourites means. I don't absolutely love this Lancome Holiday um, palette. What's it called? Um, nude and Smoky Eyes, I think. Oh, Palette des Rêves dream palette it's not a dream palette really but it is a nice basic selection and useful for travel so you can see I have really got tucked in a little bit and it has kind of grown on me you know there's a nice matte powder for just kind of blanking out imperfections um, some you know pretty highlight shimmery shades that one's very pretty kind of um, pinky rose really um, just uh, a nice brown up here. This is the nicest kind of texture, nice aubergine dark taupe, um, which is useful. Um, they're nice shadows, they're just not spectacular, um, but it is a good workday palette, and I have been traveling with it and I have been using it a lot. 
Um, you'll also be surprised to see this Le Boutin because I think they're overpriced and I've said so before. But having um, bought in uh, and kind of forgotten about them for a bit, I have been using, and I don't know what, the, they don't have the names on. I don't know what this is called. It might be kind of barely there or something like that. Anyway, it's the matte nude which is a bit kind of brown, um, too brown for me the rest of the year, but kind of works at this time of year. And I will say it lasts reasonably well. It should do for a premium lipstick, and it certainly doesn't dry the lips. So I have been using that quite a lot this month. I pulled out the other day for the first time and have been loving as a winter colour from last year, Plum Lush, which is another matte from Tom Ford. I think this is a really beautiful berry colour. Just great for this type kind of year. Showing up a bit lighter there in the monitor. Um, could really do with some berry nails to go with that. But I am liking it. My only slight concern is it's definitely losing its kind of Tom Ford vanilla scent as if it's starting to go off. Definitely hasn't gone off yet. Shouldn't do because I've only had it a year um, and I barely used it, as you can see, until the last couple of days. Um, I got it out because I see Tom Ford's brought out another whole tranche of lips and boys, which is bad news for me, but I'm trying to resist so far. And the other lip product I have been using a lot is also, I think from last spring, again, it's the Lay Beige and it's the Lip Balm. Just great for the handbag too. Um, it's got a kind of pinky look there but um, on my lips just looks kind of natural but definitely moisturises it's quite nice under my lipstick actually and uh, I've definitely needed that in the suddenly cold weather of the last uh, week or so so those have been my most used products of November um, holiday releases notwithstanding never managed to get the Tom Ford um, Winter Soleil uh, completely sold out here in a day before I got my hands on it. Um, looking at the reviews, that's probably not a bad thing. But um, yeah, otherwise, those were the favourites. So um, I guess it will be spring collection soon. But until then, we're busy doing our holiday looks for December. And I will speak to you again soon. Bye for now.